When it comes to texting on the Apple Watch, is it actually possible to write a message on the wrist device from Apple, which actually makes sense. What's going on guys, this is Apple Facts channel here and today in this video I want to talk about the texting experience of the Apple Watch. I know that there are people who are still deciding if they should really get the Apple Watch and one of the things they think about it is the texting experience. So that is the reason why I decided to make a video about it right now. I just want to show it to you how it works, if it's comfortable or not, and you just make the decision if it really pays off to buy the Apple Watch in terms of the texting. And now let's just get started. In case you are interested in Apple and in technology in general, then go ahead and press the subscribe button right now and come back to watch the video. As you guys probably know, there is no space for the keyboard on the screen of the Apple Watch. So Apple needed to bring up a new way of texting on the Apple Watch. On that tiny screen, even though this Apple Watch is the 42mm, it is the bigger one. So it is even a smaller option for the Apple Watch. And that means that the screen is of course smaller. So it would be really difficult to put a keyboard on that tiny screen. But anyways, Apple decided to bring up a new way of texting. And they actually invented the new feature, which is called Scribble. As you can see, inside of any text message, you have this scribble option. So when you tap on it, you're going to be redirected or this screen is going to pop up. And this area at the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but it is like sort of like a matched background behind it. But this is the area where you can swipe using your finger and to create letters. This was by no means G that I wanted to write. But anyways, if you are not satisfied with what you've written, you have this scrolling wheel on the right side of the screen and you can scroll through these options and the Apple Watch is going to guess what you wanted to write basically. But anyways, let's take a look at something and let's write what's up guys on the screen of the Apple Watch. As you can see, it was quite fast and pretty much precise. I mean, I made one typo as you could notice that, but nothing really significant. So as far as that goes, it works pretty much really well. And now obviously, if you want to send this message, you just click on this send option at the upper right corner of the screen is actually in the blue color. So you have to press on it and the message will be sent. The next option I have on the screen on the Apple Watch is the smiley face icon. And obviously when I click on it, you can see that we have this emoji panel and as you can see, all of the emojis are included in here. So if I scroll down at the top are probably the most used ones, I believe. So let's get to the top here, as you can see, are the frequently used emojis. So if I scroll down just a little bit more, you can see that smileys and people, pretty much every single emoji which is present on your iPhone will be also present on the Apple Watch. So you don't have to worry about the thing that some emojis will not be present here on the Apple Watch. So I think it is very comfortable to actually scroll through the emojis and pick the one that you want to send. But keep in mind that if you press on it, the message or the emoji will be automatically sent to the person. So just keep that in mind. Another option for the emojis is, as I already showed you, when you swipe to the right side, you can see that we have the special emojis for the Apple Watch. And if you click on it, you can see that you can change the color of them. You have to force press, actually. We have this heart emoji. I mean, kind of unusual. This is not something you can find on the iPhone. It is only for the Apple Watch. Anyways, this is all what you can get in terms of the emojis. So I'm pretty satisfied with the selection. And let's take a look at the other option. This next icon, as you can see, is actually hard with two fingers. So what does that mean? Basically, what this screen actually means, at the upper right corner, you can choose the color. So let's pick green, for example, but it doesn't really matter. And here on the screen, I can actually write or I can actually scribble anything. I mean, it is not like the scribble feature, but you can pretty much draw on it. I mean, for example, let's draw a heart. I mean, it is really nice. I mean, not this type of heart because it did not really go well. But anyways, the thing is that I am able to send a heart. It doesn't look that good, but it is drawn by me and the person will definitely appreciate that. Anyways, this is another option of how you can input text or input stuff or your message on the Apple Watch. But this is definitely not everything what you can do in terms of the texting, of course, with your Apple Watch. If you scroll down here, you can see that we have some prepared options that you can simply tap and they will be sent to the person. So if you don't feel like typing, if you want to say something really general, for example, I don't know, no idea, hold on a second, be right back, and all of that kind of stuff, you can simply tap on one of these options, depending on which one you like or which one you want to send, and it will be instantly sent to the person. So for example, let's say what's up or whatever. These are very general answers or really general texts that most of the time you won't be using, but there will be times where you simply need to say thank you and you don't really have time for the typing, but also you don't really need to because you have already prepared it. And that is the point of this quick text replies that you can use anytime. As you can see, there are plenty of them. 
I mean, not too much, there's quite a lot, so I don't think it should be a problem. And as you probably know, the Apple Watch is full of hidden features which are accessible by force pressing on a screen. So if you force press inside of text message, you have the option to reply or to view the details. As you can see, this message was not sent. Another option that you can use is to send your location. I mean, it is another way of sending stuff. So it is another way of sending stuff to the person you want to send it to. So if you click on the tab, you will be able to send the location where you actually are right from the Apple Watch. Or you have another option which says choose language. But as you can see, I have only the English option right here, but you would probably have more if you would set it up on the iPhone. I would also like to say that the messages application is not the only place where you can use the scribble feature or it isn't the only application which you can use in order to text. I mean, nowadays when Instagram uses the direct messages or the private messages, you can even send text messages from the Apple Watch from the Instagram account that you have or that you have set up on the Apple Watch. So it is really cool that you can even use the scribble feature to text someone over the Instagram. I mean, it is really cool and I'm pretty sure that there are other applications which support it. For example, the Viber, I'm sure that it works really well with the Viber. I mean, I have also been using it in the past. You can even send some stickers from that application. So it works really well. If I need to sum up this video and if I need to tell you if it really pays off to buy the Apple Watch for texting as one of the things that you will be doing with the Apple Watch, it really does because the experience is simply amazing. There are so many options how you can input text on the Apple Watch, but most importantly, you can always send someone the message you wanted to send them. You can write pretty much anything. So now I want to say thank you very much for watching until the end of this video. And if you are wondering, or if you are still thinking about buying one, and if texting is really important for you, I can only recommend the Apple Watch for you. And also subscribe for more videos, and in order not to miss anything important in the future in terms of the Apple Watch. Have a nice day and see you in the next video guys. Peace.